Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at single expression functions in Kotlin. So let's say, for example, I want a function that just squares a value and adds two to it. The usual way to create that function would be something like this. Let's write fun. I'll call it just calc because I don't really know what to call it. And this is going to accept some value and it's going to return a double value as well. And then we have the body of the function and we have the return keyword. So we want to say value times value plus two. So that works perfectly well. Let's try it out. Let's do print ln calc and I'll pass the value to calc like 3.0. So three times three plus two should be 11. Let's run it. And you can see it works. However, there is a shorter way to define a function if for the body of the function you just need a single expression. An expression is something that evaluates to just one value essentially. So if you think of this, it boils down to a single value. So we can say that this is an expression. And in that case, we're allowed to miss off these brackets and replace them with just an equal sign here. And we also don't want the return keyword. So now we have something that looks like this. This is a single expression function and it works just as before. And most of the time we don't even need to specify the return type because the compiler can figure it out by looking at the expression we've supplied right here. So this also works. And incidentally, we could define that up here. As we've also seen, we could define it down here and that would work. And actually, we could also put it inside the main function. So we could define this right here. Let's indent it so that the code is still readable. And let's run that. And you can see it also still works. So most of the time, if you define a function, you're probably going to put it at the top level of your code. So in this case, that will be here or here alongside main. But you can define functions within functions. And Kotlin's fine with that but then we can only use this within the main function. So that's it for this video. Until next time, happy coding.